There's going to be no clowning around. Here's your look at the new Funko Horror 5 Star Pennywise. This is the fourth figure in the new Funko Horror 5 Star lineup. We've already had a look at Jason Voorhees, we've already had a look at Freddy Krueger, and just recently we had a look at Child's Play Chucky. Mr. Magoo, by the way, you may be blind, but I can still see you. If you're old, you'll know where that's from. The Ultra Measure Tron, I don't, even know, I don't even know why I mentioned that. The Ultra Measure Tron, stay focused, stay on target reviewer, uh, sits the figure at around four inches in height, which in centimeters works out to be 10.2 centimeters tall. I'm feeling in the right type of mood. Here's the other figures that we've had a look at. Part of my hairy arm. And last but certainly not least, there's Chucky. Now, one thing's right off the bat. I guess I didn't intentionally do it for this reason and this reason alone, but you can't help but notice that Pennywise is a substantially larger figure than all the other ones that we had a look at. Not only is he taller, but his head looks like a balloon. It looks like it's been inflated much larger than, I, again, like I said, all the other five-star figures that we've had a look at. As for the figure's accessories, he comes with the SS Georgie, which is not made in paper, thank goodness for that. It's been done in plastic. Other than a little hair of plastic, as you can see, that's sticking out from the edge, it's a relatively decent rendition of the Georgie. I mean, really, not much is required, but at the very least, it does look like it was folded out of plastic rather than paper. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't seem as if Pennywise can hold the boat. Um, I tried sort of clamping it in between his hands, and I guess he holds it, but he holds it sideways. Really, what am I expecting? What am I expecting? What am I expecting? He holds it sideways. Is that good enough? I guess that I guess that is good enough. And then he also comes with his balloon. His balloon, which uh, is lightly, well, slightly, let me just put him down here for a second, slightly warped, sort of leans to the side. Maybe it's supposed to lean to the side, but I feel like it should be a little bit more dead centered. Bending it in a way that I think would correct it, I feel also would break it off. So, no dice, I'm going to leave it alone. It's a shame that it so obviously looks like it's been molded in plastic. You've got this big noticeable outline to it. Oh, 43% of interest starting to drop. Okay, it's not dropping too much. The balloon is passable, despite for the fact it's got that little outline around it. Somebody's like, 43% interested, what is he talking about? The balloon also does fit into his hand. Sort of just kind of blows to the side there. Over to the side. But he does hold successfully both accessories in his hand. Jason Voorhees, I'm still looking over at you. Why could they not have made the machete the proper size? I'm like referencing all these things that unless you went back or unless you initially looked at those reviews anyways, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Go back and watch the reviews. Don't do it just yet because you still got to get through this figure. No, 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 don't, no, 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 don't go, don't go, stay, stay. Okay, I didn't mean to talk to you like a dog. D don't go. Okay, watch the rest of this review, then you can go watch the other ones. As for the figure itself, I guess it is kind of nice that I left this one last because I guess it does increase my interest in this line a little bit more. Maybe we are moving a little bit past the point of 50% here. Uh, it's a nice little Ren cute rendition. I had to introduce a, a, a new topic point, a little extra detail. I cut myself off. It's increasing my interest in this line because he's a super cute and yet still somewhat creepy looking rendition of Pennywise the Clown. I mean, now granted, this is the new Pennywise from the 2000 and what was it, 17? 
possibly 2000, I think it was 2017. He's got all the little cracks there on the top of his head, which is a nice little added bonus to the new design choice that they went with. Um, he's a really nice looking figure. Somebody sounds like their interest is increasing. Okay, maybe it's about 52 and a half percent. Never gonna round up to the tens, somebody yells. Nope, never will. Uh, he's got his more vintage, classic looking clown costume, slightly in a little bit more of a grayish tone than the otherwise bright palette of the chalky white in his, in his face. Oh, you're so good at describing things. Thank you. Oh, that was so nice of you to say that. Uh, I do like the two tones of his eyes. Rather lighter yellow down below, rather darker yellow up at the top, sort of half and half, yin and yang. Although the yin is not good and bad, the yin is just scary and more scary, at least with Pennywise here. Uh, the printing here, or I should say like that kind of devil horn smile that he sports, is actually just printed on there. If you ran your fingers across it, you wouldn't be feeling any braille of where that's been printed on. Instead, it's just been painted. Sorry to disappoint you right there. The elongated front teeth of Pennywise sort of gives him a distorted look, but again, I quite think that's passably, even beyond the point of passably acceptable, I'm sort of digging it a little bit more. And the Grinch's heart grew three times that day. Now he does have some posability, but it's on average with what you would expect for all of these five-star figures. I don't really think that there's yet to be a five-star figure that has more or less posability than all the stuff we've discussed so far. Now granted, I've only looked at four figures. It's awfully a small spectrum for me to make such a bold statement like that, but I'm gonna say that all the figures on average, average being about 100%. Now, see, now you're rounding up to tens and hundreds. Uh, on average, it's only just the head. I can continue to do that as I talk about it. And the arms. And that's really all you're going to be getting for them. At the very least, I kind of would hope that the, the arms could have hinged outward. I don't know what that would have accomplished more than what's being accomplished right now by the arms just doing this. Uh, he doesn't have any waist swivel. And he doesn't have any possibility in his little pom-pom shoes. Uh, I thought initially that the paint was a little rough down below. But it's not rough. It just is the way it's been sculpted. Boots look good. Like I said, the outfit's overall pretty good. If you dig in sort of the vibe, those vibes of a cuter rendition of Pennywise, then maybe, maybe this one fits the bill for you. We'll take his otherwise rather crooked balloon and put it back into his hand. I might say Pennywise is one of my favorites from this line. I mean, I mean, if I go once again, and we kind of look back where we've come from, here's again all those figures that we've had a look at. Once again, pardon my rather hairy arm. Um, figures are all unique to one another. Pennywise, in, in some ways, feels as if he stands out and he's from a different lineup. In fact, the consistent of all the four figures is that they share similarly designed eyes. That's sort of the giveaway that they are part of the same group, the same lineup of collectibles. But one still can't help but notice that Pennywise's head looks much, much bigger than all the other ones that we had a look at. I sort of now start seeing a little bit more the interest that I didn't have before. They're unique. They're cute. They're super stylized. I'm not 100% still sold by the line as, as a whole, but I think I'm moving closer and closer to being about 74 and three quarters percent interested. And that's relatively high for a lineup that I really wasn't interested in to start off with. While I haven't fallen head over heels in love with this line as a whole, my increased uh, interest in these are now sitting at around 73 and three quarters of a percent. Somebody just says, why can't you just round up the tens? No, I don't do that. I don't do that. Like I said, I'm not head over heels for this line, but I can start seeing the appreciation for why others would be getting on board this lineup. I would be more inclined to probably just pick up certain characters, maybe the horror figures, if anything else, than I would the entire lineup. My heart is sort of set aside, I think, for the Funko Vinyls. That's, as you could probably gauge it by the sheer number that I've done on this channel, my love for Funko stems from Mystery Minis, and it stems for the vinyl figures, the V-Y-N-L-S figures. Just look it up, you'll know what I'm talking about. 
But the five stars, I think I would only moderately be interested in this relationship. I'm not going to be going out with you all the time, five star, but occasionally we can hang out. And we can get ourselves a slice of pizza. Sounds good? Okay, sounds good. Uh, as a as a bonus, though, just as an added note here to add in final looks, thank goodness, by the way, Pennywise also has the means to necessarily to hold his accessories. So I can check off both accessories with a check. Jason Voorhees had an X next to his machete, but luckily he's the only figure that seems to have had any problems holding his own accessories. These are relatively affordable. I mean, they're good for buying them for yourself in larger numbers, I guess, if this is your thing. Or, being that Funkos as a whole are rel relatively affordable anyways, usually at around $10 or below, it means they're an easy pickup uh, gift if you want to get them for somebody's, like, for their birthday or anniversary. Here, honey, happy anniversary. I got you a five-star Pennywise the Clown. If she likes Pennywise the Clown, you're, you're okay. If she doesn't, there's probably a plot out in the backyard already waiting for you. Either way, though, if you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself, some good news, my friends, muchachos. You should be able to find these now at your local comic book stores and most retail stores. Today, though, we were having a look at the final figure from at least the horror standpoint. This was the new Funko Horror 5 Star, and this was the 2017, I think, Pennywise the Clown. Somebody's going to tell me down below it's 2017. I, yeah, 2017. Uh, make sure as well you hit that little subscribe button certainly down below, guys, because more videos will be coming your way, horror and otherwise. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.